Prolific Dutch scorer for Manchester United sat on the bench with you. What's it like to have Joshua Zerksy potentially start his career in the same way on this one? No, it doesn't matter if he's Dutch or English or Russian or, or whatever or South America. Hey, it's Manchester United. Manchester United player and is uh, is very good for a striker coming into Manchester United and to score the winning goal in his first game. I remember last season when Rasmus Hoyland in his first game scored a goal and we were all waiting on the halfway line, VR, and after two minutes they came to the conclusion the ball was slightly over the line and then it took long and it was so frustrated. And for him, uh, it's, it's uh, very pleasing, very happy for him and that will encourage him, that will give him belief uh, the, for the fans, for everyone. It's a very good start. What, what was the specific thing that made you want to sign him? Uh, there, there were more. He has some attributes we didn't have and he straight he showed it. But, um, but not but, but where he's very good in is linking up combinations and we have some good ball playing offensive players so they can take benefit from this but what that is what i wanted to say is he has to arrive in the box and to score goals because the main attribute from a striker is score goals and he, he did and if it's then the winner uh, then it's very pleasing for everyone hi uh, joshua obviously it was i think it was a holiday in los angeles and the team training in los angeles what was the thinking in terms of the planning of integrating the team by him coming to Carrington and not training in LA? Was it just because of his Euros? He, uh, we, we looked to everyone individual, what is the right program? And um, yeah, he had an injury at the end of his career in Bologna. Um, uh, then first he wasn't selected and I think it was due to that injury that they didn't select him for um, for the Euros, but then dropped a player out and they selected him. He came from his from his holiday and um, yeah, and then after the Euros uh, we decided uh, he has to build up his fitness and he had some deficits there and yeah, he has had an individual program to build his fitness and then to bring him into the team training. I know it's a separate matter after a good win, but Jamie Sancho wasn't in the squad tonight. What's the reason behind that? Uh, first of all, we have um, we need squad depth. It will be a season uh, survival of the fittest. And but I can only put um, twenty players in the squad. I have to make choices. And then Jaden was in the week had um, air infection, and he was not hundred percent fit uh, for this. Uh, he could play. Uh, but if you um, can make choices that uh, made the choice uh, that we uh, we choose and we preferred uh, other players on the bench, but that can change and that will change definitely in the season where we have to rotate because we can't play every game with the same. Uh, you see already today how important subs are, so we need also the right uh, bench and the right balance. And sometimes it's yeah, frustrating for the for the player but yeah it's about the team it's about the club and that there will be more players who will be in this position but then yeah, we are we expect them to fight fight for the club we have so many games to play and everyone will have his minutes and then you have to prove it Rob Eric, um, were you getting worried that the goal might not come at all that it might be one of those days because you created quite a lot in the first half in the second half um, and just couldn't find the net no, I think so. One uh, space what we have to fill is uh, to kill uh, in the box. And we saw it against in the friendlies. We saw it last week against City. Well, uh, we create yeah, enough chances and, and not uh, to wait for a late winner. And so we could have 
be earlier in a winning position and yeah, we have to, to be more composed and we have to, to kill, execute for uh, in front of the goal. What have you brought that down to, that, that missed chances? Because like you just said, it, it happened in the game against local in, in America, it happened at, at City. Is, is there a particular reason why? No, no. But I, it's also maybe that is the start of the season. That a place has to come into full speed and we have enough players in the squad who have scoring abilities and most important is we created chances. Uh, one at the back. Yeah. yeah. Hi Eric, um, despite the miss today, Alejandro had to climb the area after coming up to the bench the last two games. Uh, can I explain a little uh, the reasoning why he's starting on the bench? Who? Uh, Alejandro Canaccio. Canaccio, why? Yes. Yeah, that is, so I explained about uh, six, eh? and also Alejandro. <laughs> when you see his background, um, last game was FA Cup final. And then he played Copa America, but he played only one one game. Then he had his break and he he needed a break. We couldn't bring him into the tour. But from fitness wise, probably that was the best choice to be in the tour, to work on his fitness. But after a long season, especially a young player, he, need a, he needed a break. So he came late into pre-season. And then we have some um, players in the white areas who are performing in this moment very, very well. And so that's why he started from the bench. But yeah, I think it's the same story. I just explained about Serge, about Jadon Sancho. Um, and it counts also for Garnaccio. And he will have his minutes, he will have his start, definitely. Um, so that will come in the coming weeks, months. And last question, Richard. Hi, Eric. Just want to ask about Casemiro. What did you think of this performance tonight? And is the idea that he plays more of an attacking role this season than last year? <laughs> no, but a midfielder has to defend, has to attack. And I think uh, everyone knows uh, Casemiro um, is also a brilliant passer. Um, and I think his performance all over um, was very good. Ex ex exactly what we expect from him. A good organizer, very good interceptions, good in duels. But also, yeah, he's a good linker, he's a good passer. Okay, thank you.